Okay, so on to installing Git. This video assumes that you've done part one, uh, where we installed Ruby and Ruby's dev kit. So next you want to go to git-scm.com, and from here click on Download for Windows. And that should start the download. Git is a popular version control system, popular uh, in general, but uh, especially in the Rails community, it's something that you'll want to get familiar with. And now, okay, so with Git being finished here, we'll get that started. And click Run. And next, we'll accept the license. That path is fine. And the defaults here are fine. Fine again. This here, let's make sure that you select Run Git from the Windows Command Prompt. And then click Next. Uh, we'll want to use OpenSSH. Uh, the default here is fine get the install here. We'll skip the release notes. Click finish. Next we'll start up the command prompt. And for those of you that have it open from the previous video, you'll want to close it and start it up again uh, just so that the install changes can take effect. So the first thing we'll do with this command prompt is test that git is installed and you can see here similar to the ruby-v that we did in the previous video git dash dash version outputs the version information next to further verify the install we'll clone the, the mysql2 repository at github and first we'll make a directory off of c called dev and then we'll cd into that directory and here we want to type git clone and then a space and now we need the repository URL and let's go find that so I'm just going to create a new tab here and we'll we'll type in um, github mysql2 gem hit enter and in my case here it's the first link and you should see something similar to this at github the Brian Mario mysql2 if you go over here, there's this HTTPS clone URL. If you click this copy to clipboard icon, that should get the URL copied to your clipboard. And we'll go back to the um, command prompt and right click on the command prompt and click paste so that you've got this git space clone space and then this HTTPS URL for the MySQL2 repository. So hit enter and you'll see here that it's uh, downloading all the files you know, for the repository and if we now CD into that directory that it created we can see that there's a bunch of files here related to the repository. And we'll go back up one. So the if you were able to do git dash dash version that's one verification and of course the fact that we just cloned the MySQL2 repository. Um, that's a very good indication that everything's installed properly.